Welcome to the Essence of Knowledge. This group is for people who are in the Essence of Knowledge program and we discuss this program in this meeting. All your questions, doubts are most welcome. Subodh is asking from the field of five senses the field of sight is so strong that it is difficult to establish its impermanence and illusion how to get over it all the senses are simply doors of experience whenever there is an experience we say that it is coming through a sense and that sense is simply mechanism that's all that means the sense is a concept we can see the doors as sense organs which are changing they are impermanent structures what is the direct experience that there are visions there are objects there are bodies people events the sensing is not seen the doors are seen which are impermanent and whatever is seen is also impermanent all the pictures are changing all the sounds are changing they can go any time like in sleep when you close your eyes gone for blind people no world so the direct experience is not of the senses but of changing perception then the mind says this came from eye that came from ears this came from tongue touch and then they are seen as structures in the body which is already impermanent so always differentiate between the concept of sense and direct experience first is direct experience then the concept is on top of it that it is coming from a sense so the foundation is direct experience on which the concept of senses is created but the foundation itself is impermanent you are saying field of sight is probably not very meaningful you should say sense of sight and you are saying it is strong that is also not meaningful it is just there it is strong or weak is simply an opinion for a blind person it is not strong isn't it when you are listening to music the ears are strong so these are simply beliefs on what is a simple experience you can say that my attention is more on sense of sight that is more accurate statement and it is impermanent because you can remove your attention any time put it on some other sense or thoughts or emotions also which are also coming from senses of mental type so you can investigate the truth of this belief by using very accurate language sense of sight instead of field of sight and attention is on the sense instead of saying it is strong and there is simply an illusion that it is not impermanent that it is permanent so all are simply beliefs the real trick is to find out the truth you must remove all the concepts first see what is really happening that is the trick that is called direct experience remove as many concept as possible and then whatever is in front of you is true so like this we reach the emptiness or the sea of potentials we simply keep removing like there is a concept here that experiences are changing but that is also wrong they are appearing that is the correct word see this is how we purify our language first we say experiences are changing but simply remove the concept of changing because change is simply comparison in the memory it is simply a word what is actually happening is a comparison in the memory that the current scene is different from the last scene last is in the memory that is what is happening so the current scene appears different from the last scene it is all a play of memory that is called appearance so it appears to change even the change is not true and what appears to change then it is you now you need to go out of duality you need to transcend duality you are in non duality now and it is you you are appearing right now right here this is like this if you remove all your blind beliefs concepts clear the ignorance through direct experience and you will arrive immediately you will arrive at non duality that i am appearing end of story the mind should stop here because there is nothing more to say but it continues it it then divides it says experience is appearing to experiencer already division has been made which is simply a concept 
Then it says experience is changing, another concept. It is an illusion of the memory. The memory, Hindi word is chit, there is no English word, proper English word. Then it goes again and says experience is false because it is changing. And the true and false are simply classification. It, it is trying to find something unchanging but it does not find it. It simply classifies everything as false. Then it goes and says I am experiencing world, false. Yes, I am experiencing body, false. I am experiencing mind, false. It has divided again. Then it goes and says, I am experiencing sight, sound, touch, false. No problem, but again divided. Many concepts are there now. Hundreds of concepts. Then it goes again and says, oh, I need to live. I need to do my job. I have a family. I have my work, which is important. I am meeting people. I am looking at objects. I am using objects, very useful objects. My phone, my PC, my table, chair, car. And this is the start of the world. Sansar. And it is already very deep into the appearance. Illusion. Illusion and appearance, same meaning. So the path of knowledge is backward journey. We take you back. Okay, come out now. Come out of the illusion. And the method is removal, negative knowledge. Keep removing your concepts. And the way is to see what is really happening. To see things as they are and purify the intellect. The intellect is like, it is like a knife that will cut down the illusion. And in the end, when you reach non-duality, which is non-division, the intellect is also dropped. Nothing to do now. Its job is over. All the ropes are cut. Now keep the knife away. Enjoy the bliss of non-duality. This is the whole path of knowledge. It can be done in one day. If you are willing to drop your beliefs, you can be in Samadhi, which is called equanimous state right now. Right now it is like this. Subodh is saying, there is fear that my whole of seeking will end now. Yes, whatever you are attached to, it will cause fear. You can be attached to objects, people, body, concepts, ideas, your job, your work, your goals and everything comes to an end. Everything is impermanent. So attachment to impermanence causes fear, which is another name for suffering. Now there are two options. Either you end the suffering and enjoy life, you end the seeking, enjoy life. There is a lot to do in life or you can remain afraid. It is a matter of now intelligently picking something, wisely choosing. One option is to give up the path of knowledge because it will end my attachment. Other option is to simply enjoy whatever comes. So both is saying this is it, it is over. Knowledge is over as soon as you enter path of knowledge. In the first video, I said this is the last knowledge, that you are everything. After that, it is simply explanation for those who do not understand. So we call it the pathless path. That means there's nothing to know, nothing to do. Everything is over. There is still energy in the person to do something. So they are given practices. They are given a lifestyle to live in knowledge. They are given some uh, goals, targets that continue your evolution, continue the spiritual evolution, spiritual progress, benefit others because they are also you. The illusion continues and then we want to simply make it peaceful. The illusion should be happy illusion. It should not cause suffering. That is all. But uh, you will not know more than this. And we call it knowledge, but it is simply absence of ignorance. There is no knowledge also. There is nothing to know in the existence because it is completely empty without any qualities. So nothing will be known. Ultimately, everything is unknowable. That unknowable is me, myself. This much is the knowledge. So that is why we say this is the last path. This is the final path. After this, there is nothing. Whatever people do, it is their choice. They, the, this creature cannot simply sit. So they keep doing something. But it is complete meaningless activity, like a dream. If you think about it intelligently, you will see that the only meaningful activity to do is to either sit in bliss or to remove the ignorance from other minds, from other people. So we say those who don't do anything, we call them liberated. And those who continue teaching, bringing people out of darkness, we call them bodhisattva. 
these are only intelligent choices only two choices whatever people do after knowledge is simply going back in ignorance because there is nothing in knowledge so they jump back into illusion there is something to do in the illusion but that is all meaningless activity only it can be uh, pleasing and it can be suffering does not really matter now what do we say that as long as you have body it will run and then instead of running here and there just like any worldly ignorant person you do only the necessary whatever is most necessary you do that rest of the time you serve you do the service and there is nothing more intelligent than this this is the limit of intelligence section so both is asking how to serve yes step number 7 of the program once you get the knowledge you need to remain available to transfer it to somebody who needs it whomever needs it simply tell them and you will find that very few people want it all they want is some kind of drama that's all or powers or siddhis miracles that's all they want so sometimes you you find somebody who wants knowledge who wants to destroy their ignorance and then help them by any means to come out of illusion as at least what do we do we show them slight glimpse of the truth this is called seeding so then they progress naturally this is the job of a guru how to serve become a servant and the biggest servant is a guru because obviously we get nothing in return i'll take some questions which are already there by nidhi what is causal body when you refer to the lower levels what affect the causal body that affect the causal body what are the lower levels so as per our model of the illusion the illusion is seen as constructed in layers we show these layers one above the other they are different functions of the memory first it is seen that the experience is made up of vibrations changing patterns then it is seen that this pattern can be arranged in memories that which stays for some time will be called memory and then it is seen that these memory layers are arranged according to different functions different kinds of experiences are arranged in our model as layers so one of the functions of the memory is production of creatures creature is or entities according to our program is a goal oriented pattern has some intelligence has some intent and mostly the intent is survival so in ordinary language you will call them creatures animals insects people other entities there are countless this is one of the function of the memory and that function is done by particular layer in the memory that will be called causal layer sometimes we say causal body sometimes we say latent memory sometimes we say seed body so there are many names in sanskrit it is the karan sharir so that is the meaning of the causal body that it causes births as creatures and they what is stored in that memory all that happened to that creature all the life experiences are stored there what else is stored whatever happened while it took so many forms all that is stored it took many many forms that is the function of the causal layer and whatever happens through these forms whatever is experienced is then accumulated so another name for causal body is accumulation so what are the lower layers than causal obviously the functions that are supported by the creature are the functions that support the creature you can say it reverse for example intellect uh, emotions then uh, other lower layers social layers social um, survival intelligence then uh, body physical body and then the mineral layers and potential layers and so on there are layers below that so that is clearly shown in our model of the illusion so the the effect is two way the causal body takes the form and it affects the lower layers whatever is stored in the causal layer according to that the lower layers function and 
whatever experiences the lower layers produce affects the causal body and they get stored there so in illusion there is no one way it, uh, everything affects each other so where is the causal layer in the our diagram probably forgot where it is but you will find it in the layered diagram it is much about your subtle bodies and so on and uh, usually any ordinary person or even a seeker is unaware of these things they are aware up to the intellect then the aware, we do the awareness practice and then many layers come into awareness when you pay attention when you meditate when you contemplate when you become the witness when you witness all these things in complete awareness then all these layers one by one they will come in picture they will be understood they will have different kinds of experiences so there is no hurry right now you go through the theory of the memory and then as you practice you will experience all of the higher layers lower you can experience right now you can indirectly experience the higher also when i say greater mind you are actually experiencing the greater mind although you don't know there is no knowledge of it because nobody told you that whatever you are experiencing is the greater mind it is not a place or not another object somewhere far away no everything is here and now then when i say universal memory you are experiencing that only so when i say causal layer causal memory you are experiencing it but you don't know it you are not aware of it you don't know which of my experience comes from the causal layer because darkness in the mind most of the time ordinary people they are focused outside means in the world sense objects people food partners and uh, the objects that give this creature comfort or even the object that ca- cause uh, harm enemies and so on and of course the body of the creature that much they pay attention to the rest they don't know for them the rest is me they th- they think it is me including the body so with knowledge and with practice and the awareness spreads and direct knowledge happens of the illusion also it is important for you to understand who you are and who you are not that much is more important okay she has one question please explain some common examples of algorithm behavior change algorithmic behavior is that which can be predicted where where the events happen one after the other but they are fully predictable that is the example of algorithmic behavior so you come in your house and you turn on the fan now the fan starts spinning you can say that is algorithmic behavior why because one event causes another which is fully predictable you know that when i press the button the fan will spin the fan spins and the air flows another event you can predict that when the fan spins the air will flow when the air flows you will feel cool that is another event very predictable so there are some experiences where you can predict very very accurately what is going to happen if i do this what is going to happen if this event happens etc etc and sometimes it is so precise that you can write a formula for it I, if i mix this chemical with that chemical i'll get this chemical and it's always true so that will be called algorithmic behavior simple examples i'm giving what is not algorithmic if and uh, the clouds are there will there be rain 50 50 will there be thunder will there be flood will people die no we don't know nothing can be predicted only we can see the clouds are in the sky now anything can happen any time the time also cannot be predicted predicted it is all accidental which which means happens without control without any logical reasons but we say that it is our ignorance we don't know the behavior here that is why we cannot predict it but somebody who knows the weather who has studied the weather they can predict it more accurately so more knowledge you get the more prediction happens the more accurately you can say what will happen how will ha- it happen and when it will happen and 
we you will see that the more knowledge you get of the illusion the more you are able to understand it which means you will understand that everything has a cause everything has a effect this causes this has this effect it can be accurately said and ultimately if you get full knowledge of the illusion you will see that everything can be predicted it is too complex but it is algorithmic the illusion is algorithmic there is a proper flow chart of the illusion that if this happens that will happen that will happen like that but probably for average person it is not possible to understand that much ordinary person will understand only that which is very limited which is useful for that creature that much they understand but because the illusion is infinite the human beings cannot understand everything we cannot predict everything but through logic it can be concluded like this that if we could understand you will find that the illusion is algorithmic now on the other hand we say that illusion has infinite possibilities it is infinite potential anything can happen so non algorithmic events can also happen but we will never detect them because this instrument human instrument detects only algorithmic events non algorithmic cannot capture cannot capture they are not captured by the senses so both possibilities are there but most of the time this algorithmic behavior will be seen and that is most useful so simply understand this much that if one event causes another event and it can be predicted nicely with certainty then we can say it is algorithmic it can be perfectly calculated what will happen so there there are many examples in your day to day life computers are the best example because that word is now applied in computers so actually it is a word from mathematics which is now applied in computer science that whatever programs are running in uh, a computer they are algorithmic and they follow steps exactly if the program is very calculate uh, very complex then an average user cannot understand why this happened how this happened but the programmer exactly knows what it is doing the more complex it becomes the less knowledge we get and so it becomes unpredictable your car is another example you press this much it will go this much distance you fill this much petrol it will go this much distance you turn the steering this side it will turn this side it is pred- predictable but those who don't know they cannot understand what it will do it is simply a matter of knowledge the more you know the more algorithmic illusion becomes or it appears like this but i want to tell everybody that the last 10 videos of the program the step 2 of the program they are about illusion which means science and if you don't understand a few things in those 10 videos it is not so important that is extension of the path of knowledge it is a science is a part of the path of knowledge which is study of the illusion so we have given that kind of information because people have too many questions about it so that is simply extra knowledge the main path of knowledge is knowing who you are that's all and then whatever you are not becomes illusion which is also you but the changing part the unchanging essence is most important and staying in that essence is your practice remembering it verifying it proving its truth to yourself nobody else will do it and in the free time you can know about the illusion and just like i said it is only theory models and so on explanation of what appears here my own illusory forms they are appearing this creature wants to know some things so you need to know only that much which is useful for your survival for a good life and if you don't understand anything which is too complicated there is no problem at all jarna singh see what is frequency domain analysis how it works frequency is very simple thing it means how many times the vibration is changing per second there is vibration in our model which means some kind of change so how many times it is changing in one second one minute one hour like this 
so an example is uh, suppose music is playing and the drums are playing in the music beat so how many times the drums beat in one minute that will be called the frequency of beating of the drums that beat if it is 50 times per minute we say this is slow rhythm slow beat frequency is less we say if if it is a fast song and the drum beats are let us say 120 per minute we say the frequency is high because it is changing it is ch- the change is happening fast and you can see heart beat is one thing one event and uh, breathing how many times you breathe breathe per minute that will be frequency of breathing how frequent it is happening how frequent is that experience so frequency of bus let us say you go to office in bus and the bus arrives every 1 hour or 2 hours so that will be the frequency of bus it is the speed of repetition of your experience we are saying that the smallest experience is called vibration that is the smallest change of two events and that can repeat a few times so that frequency of repetition of that vibration will be some number 100 times per second million times per second thousand times per second like this or one times per second two times per second something like some number will be there so any change is made up of many many vibrations which can have different kinds of frequencies it is possible so how to find out how many vibrations are present in any experience that method will be called frequency domain analysis so just like i said this this is very much fundamental science and mathematics if you are not a student of science don't need to understand all these things yes it can be measured in hertz hertz means the rate of change per second kilohertz megahertz like this so some events happen very fast some you and they cannot be seen you cannot perceive them the senses do not catch them and some events have been very slow and they are also not picked by senses it is very slow nothing happens so our senses only pick that much which is necessary for survival of the creature that much we pick nothing else there is infinite kind of vibration from 0 hertz to infinite hertz so but we we don't experience it so any experience can be broken down as change of some kind and how many times it repeats will be the frequency and any thing will be made up of many many changes different changes and uh, that will be known by frequency domain analysis what happens in that event suppose a song is there suppose drums are beating suppose somebody is playing guitar somebody is uh, repeating a song words so all these events are happening in this in the song now you can break down that song into words then guitar then drums and then whatever instruments and find out how many times it is cha- different things are changing that will become analysis analysis means what breaking down break down one experience into many find out how many changes make it up yes chanting music all or vibrations not frequency use the correct words these events are consist of vibrations and these vibrations have different rates of change that rate of change will be called frequency music is not frequency music can be analyzed into various frequencies of vibration same way light just like sound light so every experience breaks down into vibration this is our fundamental thing fundamental principle in our model of the illusion this is the basic science so there is no need to go into too much detail and those who are interested the program is not sufficient to give you all the details you should study the science in a university school college university phd that is the best way to understand what is happening around you if you want to understand the illusion now there are two kinds of sciences the physical sciences and the mental sciences so those who are interested they can go in the higher side higher layers beyond the body so the physical sciences means below the body objects 
matter just like i said weather music and all these things light heat atoms so on body is in between so medical science study of body and then the mental science psychology study of mind and even beyond study of the higher layers that will be called occult science why occult because it is hidden from ordinary people they are not evolved so much that they can even understand what we are saying so occult or in sanskrit we say tantra so depending on your interest you can take up the subject and study it will take many years 20 30 40 years to know something about a specific subject that is why i said you we are we are not in a hurry about that part we simply tell you the overview of the illusion and then it is depends on your interest that is not path of knowledge that is a subset of path of knowledge so the program only focuses on your own knowledge the spiritual knowledge what you are that much must be known very precisely without any doubts okay so here we will end today's call thank you everybody for coming in the meeting see you next time namaste